It's been going on for 10 days now. 22 consecutive days. Day 33. We're on day 43. The 50th day. 63 days since the government began its boycott of Good Morning Britain. It's a dereliction of duty to our viewers and your voters. And, and of course, it, we don't care. Our ratings have never been higher. The less we have government ministers, the more people are tuning in. Oh, OK. Memo to government. Please so don't appear on Maybe the don't hurry back. And we'll continue to ask the difficult questions. Good Morning Britain. Weekdays from 6. Well, a very good morning to you all. Jason here, welcoming you to a brand new week here on ITV. Got a jam-packed show for you this morning, so let's get on with it and join Pierce and Susanna for your Monday's Good Morning Britain. Morning, Britain. The show will go on. A record one and a half billion pounds has been promised to save theatres, museums, and concert venues. But has the government acted quick enough to stop a cultural catastrophe? Bottoms up Britain as Scotland now joins England by opening bars and cafes. But a stark warning from the police: drunk people, or well, get this, they will not socially distance. Also this morning, unearthing Epstein's secrets, what could Ghislaine Maxwell reveal about the convicted sex offender and those he associated with? This morning, we speak to a close friend of the socialite who is now facing justice. And later, Jules Holland, the legendary musician, will join us to reveal what he thinks of the government's dramatic lifeline for the arts and his lockdown collaborations with some of the world's biggest stars. He's with us live after eight. And I'm back in the studio, not with sunshine, but with sunshine and showers. But there is rain on the way. I'll have all the details of that and more coming up on Good Morning Britain. Monday, 6th of July, 2020. Live from Television Centre in London. This is Good Morning Britain with Piers Morgan and Susanna Reid. Well, good morning, Britain. It's six o'clock. Welcome to the programme. Well, we have welcome a back to the programme. We have a little visitor. <laughs> oh, Laura oh, Tobin. How many days away have you been? 98 days. 98. Since I was last in the studio. And not quite such a little visitor as when I was last here. I've, as many people have put on the Covid stone, but, you know. Does you have put on the Covid stone, yeah, Laura. Nearly. Really? Nearly. No, you're OK. <laughs> um... <laughs> How's it been? I mean, weird to be back at work, right, after all this time. We forget it, about you guys. I mean, it's like half the team has not been here. It's, it's been really... It's been a real privilege to be working from home, be in my kitchen, be there to look after my daughter the second that the show finishes and take over. 